Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, we're a little whited out here. Welcome back. This is the Crappie Expo. Convention Center is somewhere over there. Just parked. Let's go inside. We're gonna meet up with ACC and a couple other different companies, show you some cool products. So, got my brother with me today. He's right there. There's a lot of uh, wrapped trucks and some really nice boats. So, let's see you inside. Back. We are at the Crappie. Jesus. We're at the Crappie Expo. Yeah, that's what we're doing, right? Yeah, Crappie we're Expo. at Crappie Expo. Man. We are at the Crappie Monster booth right now. I'm with Jeremy here. You guys seen videos of uh, the fireflies? I've done a couple of videos yes. of the fireflies, and uh, he's just gonna walk through some new stuff he's got out today. And uh, yeah, what do you like to use of your own lures? What's your favorite? Of my own lures, yeah. my yeah. absolute favorite is Trophy Watch. I put that dude on an orange head, and I don't care what lake I go to anywhere in the nation, I'll put the uh, trophy wife on with a quarter ounce uh, orange head, and I'll drop that dude jigging right down in a brush pile. Now, we're going to Grenada for the American Crappie Trail tournament mm -hmm. here in a couple of weeks. Yep. And I know that I'm going to be using my carrot top curly tail. And I hate saying that on this video, but more than likely it's not going to air before then. But it's going to be a, a Grenada is an orange lake. Most of your lakes will be lake specific to the colors, what that they nor, the crappie normally want. We actually made one just for Grenada, MS Gold. And they the fish are bigger, they like a larger profile bait, so we'll be using a longer uh, curly tail grub. And if that doesn't work, we'll go back to the Firefly because it's sold about everybody who's ever used it. Yep. And right now, if you're out here, come on out to the expo, come by and see us. I'd love to talk to you, love to meet you. You'll actually get to meet a whole lot of my pro staff while we're here. We got the uh, Team Livingston over there. We got all the Indiana boys over here. Say hi, Gavin. Yeah. 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 Well, they got corn in their ears up there in Indiana, so <laughs> there you go. I just want to walk through my favorite. My favorite is right over Okay, here. show me what your favorite this, is. This guy right here. This one, the black and chartreuse firefly. Yellow jacket, baby. Love it. By Get far my favorite. Sting on them. Yep. Dock shooting and then drop shots. Up north right now, we drop have a shot. different transition right now because up north, the natural lakes, the crop will stack up on those deeper ledges instead yes. of going shallow. Okay. So a lot of people down south say, oh, they're going shallow for the fall. You can catch them in the fall real shallow and whatever. Well, where I live, they also go deep. They go deep? deep okay. And will hold on a I've ledge. had a lot of people in the comments section be like, you know, you got to go shallow to find them. I'm like, no. no. They're going to be 20 feet, and they're yeah. sitting right on that that hard bottom, soft bottom transition on our natural lakes. Yes. And uh, we on drop the shot transition these. on the ledge. We drop shot those, and you can nail you them. Yep. We'll grab some of them, take them with you. Okay, I had them. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought it I'm learning. I'm helping. They know. We're at the ACC booth here. This is Andy, owner of ACC's. How we doing? I'm going to talk about my favorite. You guys see me use this all the time when I'm on the water. This is the 7.6 ACC. We used it, this is my brother. We used it yesterday on Lake Hamilton. Caught a couple fish, but the bite's been pretty tough. We're actually going to go out there again today. Try to do, this is actually my favorite dog shooting rod. Did you know that? Uh -uh. Awesome. Yeah, because we stand up the dog shoot. Yeah, you get a little bit more leverage. I, you don't have to bend I can't over. Do the, I can't do the bend down on one knee. I yeah. can't do it. So That on the yeah. back. Yeah, it's really hard on the back. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. So 7 6 all around this is what I use. I'm going to walk you through some other stuff he's got up here. What do we got? 10. I'm falling in love with that 10 foot rear seat. We're showing people with a reel on it how yeah. well it balances. You know, oh, it, it's it, amazing. Yeah. It I was a, using a the 11, and then I went to Truman. I fished with that. Yeah. You can hold it all day. It's lighter. A lot lighter. It's so amazing. We, when people hold it, they're like, wow, I didn't know that's why you had the rear seats. I'm like, that's why. Yep. So it's a little different to reel with it. Yeah. Like it takes a second, but. Usually you're not fishing, you know, 20 or 30 feet deep. No. So one no. or two cranks and you're good. So. Yep. Anyway, people are liking that. So this is my, my new favorite jig rod. 10 foot rear. Thank you, sir. All right.
right, well that is gonna end it for the uh, Crappie Expo. Uh, had saw two companies that I really wanted to talk to and I've been working with them for a while now. Um, if you miss me at the Expo, sorry about that, but uh, my brother and I, we drove almost 15 hours to Arkansas to fish on Lake Hamilton. So that is what we're, we're gonna do for the rest of the day. That's gonna be another video, but uh, appreciate you watching. I'll link the companies below at uh, Crappie Monster and ACC. Both uh, good guys, good companies, check them out. All right, we're gonna get on the water. See you in the next video.